Good morning, everyone. I hope that you are having a great day wherever you are in the world. I hope that your week has gone well or is going well. And today I'm going to do a flip through of September in my Hobonichi cousin. And I have been really nostalgic in this book <laughs> for the last couple of weeks because I realized that I'm probably not going to be in a cousin next year. And I really have loved this book so much. Again, that's subject to change. I could change my mind. I'm just going to put that out there. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, the moleskin pocket setup that I posted yesterday is very much like what I'm excited about. I'm planning on using. I just realized I spilled coffee right there, but I like that. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've just, every day that I've been in here, I've just been like really kind of appreciating it and loving it for what it is. There's nothing wrong with this system. Um, it's been exactly what I needed. Look how chunky it is too. So like that was one of the things is like, I've only been in here since the end of May and it's only now the end of September. So what that's technically just June, July, August, and September, four months. And it's like already really chunky and will not like sit flat. It's, and that's fine. Um, I'm just amazed and I can't even imagine how big it's going to be at the end of the year and how big it would have been had I been in it since January. But yeah, there was, there's nothing wrong with the system. I love it so much. Anyways, let me stop talking and just get to flipping. So nothing to report here. I still didn't do my tracker this month, but I do want to start back up again in October. Um, hopefully I will do that. Here is the monthly page. Again, I just keep my monthlies super functional. Um, I want them to see any appointments. Um, I do mark my daughter's days that she's working, um, any appointments that she has. And uh, sometimes I will put in um, bills due, but not always. Like this month I only put, I think, one bill. Last month, did I have any bills? No, I didn't. I guess I really haven't done bills in here for a while. I did it in June and that's it. So there you have that. So that's the monthly. The weeklies are still the place that I really like love the most and I'm in the most in this planner because this is where I have all of my tasks every day and um, all my appointments as well. This is just a very functional space for me and it's so funny because before this year I could not figure out how to use the weeklies. I just could not make them work for me and that was one of the reasons why the Hobonichi Cousin just wasn't like my main planner for so many years because I just couldn't figure out this space but this year something just clicked I mean it's nothing crazy it's nothing fancy obviously um but yeah for some reason this year this just really worked for me so I usually have this book open on my desk and um it's open to the weekly view and I'll just throughout the day write down the things that I need to do and I'll check them off as I go. So yeah, I really love like this very busy page full of stickers. Um, I love kind of like picking a, a theme at the beginning of the week when I first set it up and then adding stickers throughout the week. I typically use only one or two fountain pens just to keep the color consistent. Um, This week, it looks like I only used one sticker book and I never went back to put in other stickers, which is fine. It's still really cute and functional. And then this week, I started to realize that like in the weeklies, because everything is all one color and there's a lot going on in these pages, it's hard for me to kind of pick out things that are that I might be looking for or that might be important. Not so much during the week because I'm very much like active and filling it out during the week but after the fact if I wanted to go back and find something I don't think it would be very easy for me to do that so I came up with like a section for each kind of thing and I think I talked about this on a recent video but at the top would be all day events so like my day off work there um this next <clears throat> section down would be appointments like a dentist appointment or eye exam, that kind of thing. 
And then the next section would be errands that I ran or needed to run throughout the day. So um, I also put my daughter's work schedule there because I wasn't really sure where to put that. And there wasn't really enough room in the appointment section. So I just put it in that. But um, yeah, anywhere that I went out of the house and it didn't need to be at a specific time. Then the biggest section in the center was tasks for that day. Then this is the media that I consumed. I really actually am finding it, um, I guess, entertaining or like, I like being able to look back and see what books was I reading? What shows was I watching? What movie did I watch with my daughter? What, um, what kind of thing was I fascinated with on YouTube and binging all the, all the videos on that type of thing, you know? So yeah, I like that. Um, and then this section is supposed to be, um, like health, but I have not been tracking. I haven't even been really wearing my Apple watch, which is bad. I, I haven't been tracking my food. I need to just get back into it. I got out of it. I think, I don't even know when, I think I was off for a few days or maybe I was sick or something. And then I just stopped and I need to get back into doing it because I want that data and it's like, making me mad that I'm not doing it, but I still won't do it. So figure me out. I don't know. Um, anyways, that's what that bottom section is for. So I really love this week. I thought it was so cute. These little, um, things here are from, a like a infographic type looking thing on Instagram about autumn. And I just printed it and cut out the little doodles which are so so cute and then these other ones are from a happy planner sticker book and then here is this week and I did the same sections but I made like the health one a little bit smaller and I made a couple of the ones up top a little bit bigger um these autumn -y looking stickers are all from illustrated faith and then these days of the week are from Erin Ware's patreon so I haven't gone back and put in any more stickers or anything yet, but um, I just am loving these fall colors. They're so pretty. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is such a functional space for me. I think it's weird because like going into the moleskin, like it's so much smaller, <laughs> right? But I don't think it's going to be any less functional. Like here's going to be the weekly and so obviously on the weekly, I'm not going to be able to fit all my tasks and I don't want to, that's going to be for the daily, but the weekly will just be like appointments, maybe errands, and then like a master to-do list. And then I'll transfer over the daily to-dos and errands to the, um, daily pages. So it's just crazy how like all of this information essentially will be fitting into these two books but I'm I'm still like really excited to try it and see how it goes but yeah I really love these pages as well and I'm gonna miss them <laughs> like I keep thinking I'm gonna miss this book like it's such a nice book and I love the paper it's very different than the moleskin paper but yeah um we'll see what happens I'm just I'm excited for the change but I'm also appreciating being in this for the last three more months now of the year so that's that. So let's go to the dailies. Um, I'm traumatized by seeing these mice on here right now. <laughs> it's triggering me. <laughs> um, okay. So usually on the dashboard page, I'll do a picture of me and my daughter just to see like, you know, like important moments throughout the month. That's when she got her license or just like how we're progressing um, especially since I'm trying to be like on a weight loss journey. So I want to kind of see how that goes throughout the year. But I also found these, well, these two are from Cat Collage Club, which I will never stop talking about because all her work is so cute and I just love it. So how adorable are those? And then this one was something that I found on um, Pinterest. These are all from Cat Collage Club. Usually towards the beginning of the month, like I'll have her illustrations everywhere because they just had come out. So I'll print them and be obsessed with them. But yeah, oh my gosh, so adorable. I need to, she has a lot more of these and I need to use them up. I'm probably gonna cut them up and put them on my pages today. But yeah, just really adorable. We watched a movie that night, me and my daughter. And 
Yeah, I think this month overall was pretty good in the daily pages. Um, I tried on days because these were both like, I think I back planned this one and then this was like at the end of the day. I tried to just either like this with the markers, just put, you know, big things on the page so that it fills up the page instead of just leaving it or just put like the main things that we did in big words. But, um, but yeah, I really like these pages. There was this thing going around that says type literally me into Pinterest and see what comes up. And it was so funny because both me and my daughter did it and they were both so accurate. Um, so these two days I hadn't put anything in here. So I just printed out some things from Pinterest. I had just started rewatching Gilmore Girls on this day. So I printed out a few things. <laughs> And then this was a collage that I, oh yeah, I think I made this one because that's my planner right there. Um, and just wrote a couple things about the day. I really have been enjoying like on days when we do stuff and I take pictures, just printing out pictures and using that instead of doing a lot of words on the page. Um, this day we had a beach night at my church where my whole church like gathered at this one beach and we had a bonfire and sang hymns and it was really lovely and beautiful. So that was that. And I spent the night with two of the ladies in a hotel and it was really, really nice. This day I got this book, the art of, or sorry, the notebook, a history of thinking on paper. And it is really good. I saw it on somebody's channel too. That's how I actually knew about it. Um, and then I'd forgotten about it and I went to Barnes and Noble just to like walk around and I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, this looks so good. I'm going to get it, but I can't remember whose channel I saw it on. So if it was you, thank you, because this book is so interesting. You would never, or I would never think of the advances in like business civilization, like art, um, that we've had just because of the, um, invention of the notebook itself like there weren't always notebooks people didn't always have like paper in their hands that they could just use like it's so fascinating the way that they even were making paper back in the day like it went from being like on on like parchment on hides on like like yeah animal skins to then them figuring out how to make it out of fibers and then it became like a lot more widely available it's just so interesting and it makes me like not want to take like all our notebooks for granted because they're so like actually precious and we just don't even know it and in the beginning of this book he talks about the like the whole intro is how the moleskin notebook came to be and it's actually based on like there was an original notebook that was like the moleskin that the company went out of business but it was such like a famous notebook in that time and like all the people, like all the artists, all the the writers, they wanted to have this notebook and then they couldn't get it anymore. And so the the one of the people who like started the Moleskin company was a woman, I forget her name. Um, she came up with the idea to like replicate that notebook and that's how Moleskin was born. So it was just like really fascinating to read that and just reading the history. It is kind of history heavy, at least to the point where I'm at right now. I think I'm on chapter four. But I think um, it's going to get more into, well, I think it'll still be historical based, but I think it's going to be like more interesting as like the notebooks become more prevalent in history and like people are starting to use them. But anyways, I totally digress. This is just a really good book. I really recommend it if you are interested in that kind of thing. Normally, I wouldn't even read this kind of book. Like I'm not really a history person and I, you know, I either prefer Christian nonfiction like theology books or fiction books. Um, so this is not really something that I would typically read, but it is very well written and I'm just really enjoying it. Oh, that was also the day that the coffee maker broke. <laughs> so I went to a coffee shop to read this book. Uh, okay. So I had a few days off and I went to work at my church conference. These were cute stickers that came on a Starbucks order of egg bites. And I was like, oh, I'm so keeping those and putting them in. I got a new pen, um, another ad mock that was cheaper than the first two ad mocks. Um, and it's really nice. I really like it. You're going to see it in my currently inked. Um, this was another day I went to a coffee shop because again, no coffee maker. And we know that I can't survive like that. 
here was a picture of said coffee shop. I had like the best little table. Um, and I'm loving all the fall drinks too. This one had cardamom in it and I love cardamom. I just love that flavor. Um, still using the cat collage stickers. This is an Aaron Ware sticker. These two are also found out my friend was having twins and they're both girls. So I wrote about that. Arabella's car broke down and then it got fixed. So that's here. It was kind of an eventful month <laughs> to be honest. Um, I really like this day. I liked like how full that looks and just, but I also don't mind days that are not full either. Like these days are not full and I don't mind that. This was the day that I discovered the mouse and yikes, what a horrible stressful week it has been for me. <laughs> um, these all, well, these are Aaron Wear stickers, all these florals. And then these all are Illustrated Faith stickers that are printables and if you go on illustrated faith if you like this kind of thing you can search i think fall printables and there's so many because like they've had them for a few years and yeah they're just really beautiful i love this one and the leaves here's another one from them and then this was yesterday so that's the last day that i have in here but um yeah i think it has been a beautiful month of recording memories and um that is it so i hope you guys enjoyed i would love to hear any thoughts or questions and i will talk to you later i hope you have a wonderful day bye guys